Hi, welcome to the channel. Tonight we are in South Wales. I am walking from my house. It's, uh, it's Tuesday, it's that incredibly hot Tuesday, part of the uh, heat wave we're having. Uh, record was broken in Wales today for temperature by two degrees. So it's about half past eight, it's absolutely boiling still, so about 30 degrees. So I figured I'd head up to a local hill, just walk from the house, about three and a half, maybe four miles at most. Um, I've got a very lightweight setup tonight. I've got a mesh bug bivy. Um, I've got a couple of walking poles to set up with, if needs be, with a tarp. Or I might just try and find a little patch of trees and just try and hang it from some of that or find a stick to hang it from or something. So trying to find some cooler on top of my local hill. So uh, yeah, it's going to be a nice gentle walk up. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll get out there, we'll get set up. And uh, I've got some new bits of gear to use as well. So got a new sleeping bag from Audi, um, a really lightweight one for $14.99, a uh, very warm uh, summer one, so <laughs> might not even need it tonight, but um, they get a pack it just in case. So yeah, nice little ancient track now, so we'll crack on and um, try and get it before it gets dark. So this is actually a disused reservoir, but um, I think I've been here maybe four times. The first time I came here, it was a part of a really, really dry summer and it was empty, just like this. Might have even had less of a trickle running through it as well. And then the next two times I came here, it's been full up to the top and you can see pretty much where it normally sits. So uh, yeah, it's been unusually dry here in Wales the last few weeks. Um, very dry indeed. So that's why uh, there's no water here now. <laughs> and from the look of it, it's been pretty low for quite a while. It's not, uh, not suddenly evaporated. It's been, been down for a, for a month or so, I'd imagine, at this. But it's a lovely part of the world. It'd make quite a nice wild camping spot actually, but there's a couple of farms not too far away. So I think you'd probably be spotted. And also there's more sheep than I've ever known here before. So there's barely a square meter of grass that's uh, not completely soiled by, by sheep muck. And uh, this little detour has meant we had to descend into this, this reservoir and then go up the other side. But it's a public footpath across the reservoir and there's a couple of footpaths snaking through these parts. And the one that crosses here is actually a name path called the Raven Walk, which is um, a really nice walk, takes into Barnum and a couple of really nice spots locally. And I've done most of it, not in one go, but I've picked up the parts of it and, uh, and walked them. It's a, it's a good trail, a really good name for a walk as well, Raven Walk. 
still, it's, uh, it's getting quite late now. It's 10 past nine. It's feeling a little bit cooler now. So we've got to get up that hill, past the farm, and we've got to get on a, on a road really quickly, a little tiny little road, and then get up to the local hill and try and find somewhere suitable to pitch. Um, the last one up there was really overgrown with grass. There's a few small patches we can probably pitch it in, um, but I quite like the idea of um, using the tarp as well. So we'll try and find enough space to, to get that set up and uh, yeah, get the mesh coffin <laughs> up and see if I can fit my sleep mat and sleeping bag in it and stuff and actually have any usable space. And hopefully the mesh is fine enough to keep bugs out, but not too fine to keep any kind of breeze out because um, it feels a little cool here in the shade. It's nice. So hopefully I will get a have decent night's sleep. So better crack on before it gets dark. Okay, it's pretty late. I've done 4.2 miles. Um, quite a lot of ascent as well. Um, about two hours to get up here because part about doing quite a lot of filming. Um, absolutely glorious evening. Cardiff all lit up in one direction. Bracken Beacons every direction. You can really see Corn D, Panavan and Cribben just poking out of the skyline. Bit of a breeze up here. I wouldn't say it was a cool breeze. It's it's a very warm breeze, um, but it's got to be better than being being in the house. Um, thankfully, the farmer has mowed a central section of this hill, so the grass is actually a reasonable length. I've just been trying to find a patch of grass that kind of tends to slope that way, and I want to sleep facing that way. So I'm trying to find a little patch where it just up a little bit. So I think I found one. So the tarp I'm using is a Nordisk Voss Diamond SI tarp. It's 500 grams, diamond shape. And I've got a mesh bivy, which I'll show you. I can't pronounce the name. Lixada, Lixada, I think something like that. And that weighs about 250 grams, I think. I'll put it up on screen, but yeah, I think it's less than 800 grams for the pair. I think it's around 750 grams. So not a lot of uh, not a lot of weight, but I've only ever tried it in the garden. So I've never actually taken it out before and tried this for real. So it's going to be interesting to see how it goes. So that is the mash bivy, really small, really compact, really light. And then here is the tarp, which looks massive. And um, Nord has put it in this really generous bag, but. If you put it in a dry bag and crushed it down, it would crush down to next to nothing. It's uh, sealed nylon, so it really packs away. And I've just got a couple of my sets of pegs that I picked up cheap from Amazon. So we're gonna use them. And we're gonna try and pitch this so that we've got a nice sleeping position, a nice breeze going through it, and so that the whole baby doesn't take off like a tent which is going to be the real challenge. It's really lumpy underfoot, so <laughs> really not sure exactly where to pitch this thing. I think we're just going to have to accept it's going to be lumpy. So the good thing with this tap is that it comes with all the guy lines that you need, already fitted, all ready to go. Not all tarps do. So you've got to go for the expense of buying guy lines and all the rest of it. So here is the rear point. Lots of guy lines, plenty of guy lines. So there we have it, <laughs> the uh, lightweight mesh bivy and the Nordis Voss tarp 
pitch so that there's 360 degrees airflow, 360 degree views as well. Um, yeah, the views from up here, say the Brecon Beacons one way, Cardiff the other, all the lights of the various towns twinkling in the distance. Yet yeah, this hill always feels really, really quiet. You feel like you're in the middle of nowhere. So it's a really nice place to, uh, to pitch up. No idea how it's gonna to be to sleep in. I am knackered, so I'm gonna try and uh, get the sleep mat in, get the sleeping bag in, and uh, try and get ready for, for bed and some sleep. And uh, hopefully, once I stop moving around, I'll, um, I'll cool down. There is a nice breeze up here now. Um, it's, it's warm, it's still very warm, but we're at about 370 meters now. So we're up pretty high. Um, for South Wales. So it should be a nice nice breeze up here, should be quite cool to sleep in. Can't be any warmer than trying to be at home up in a bedroom in this sort of weather. But yeah, what a glorious evening. So let's um, stop messing about and get, to, get finished. So my mountain warehouse mat should fit. And I got this dinky little um, lightweight Adventure Ridge sleeping bag from Aldi. 14.99, 720 grams. Supposed to be comforted at around 10 to 15 degrees, I think. So we should be absolutely fine to, for tonight if I even need to use it. But yeah, what a difference in size compared to the other one. I'm gonna do a little mini review of this as well. Um, so a little test for it tonight. Here we have it, the Bug Mesh Bivy. Very lightweight, very compact. And with the tarp, a very nice sleeping combo on a very hot night. It has been really nice up here. The breeze now is quite cool. You get the occasional gusts, it's really warm. But it's been really good. I actually slept really well. The only thing that annoyed me slightly was the tarp. The wind is nice direction now. It's coming the way I was hoping it was going to be. Um, but you can hear occasionally it gets a bit flappy on the edge. I haven't quite pitched it perfectly. I needed to adjust this side. I've adjusted that side at about 3 a.m. Just adjusted the ang angle of one of, the, one of the guy lines and that stopped it from flapping on the, on the other side. Um, so I was woken up by some, some really loud flapping. It's just that the perfect breeze catches it and it just vibrates. As it's doing now, quite annoyingly. But no, it's been really nice. So it's quite a clever little thing, this. So to get in, you can just unzip it, get your legs right in, have this slack, then you just get into the thing itself. <sighs> Zip most of the way up. And then here, there's a little adjuster. And you just tighten that up like so. And there you have it. Keep all the bugs out. No. Obviously it's not the... Uh, the most spacious uh, <laughs> interior living you're going to have in any kind of tent or bivy, but you know, you're not you're not getting it for that. But I actually found I could roll over fine in it. I could sleep on my front and my side fine, uh, and I slept really well. So it's almost six a.m. now. I've got work today, 
And because I've walked up here rather than drive, um, I've got a four mile walk back to the car, back home, get a shower and then get to work. So I should really start getting organized and getting going really. My car is back from the garage, uh, another 740 pound uh, bill. I needed a new starter motor. And because I'd let my um, breakdown lapse, I had to pay quite a hefty call out fee and repay for a new membership to get uh, get it picked up and get it taken to the garage in the first place. So yeah, a really expensive time. <laughs> so I think my spending on tents is gonna stop for the time being, unless it's an absolute bargain. Uh, and I'm going to start selling some on as well because I've obviously bought a lot of, a lot of tents um, to use for the channel and stuff. Um, but I'm running out of space, definitely run out of money. So I'm going to start using a couple of them quite heavily um, and then selling some of the ones on which I don't love as much as the other ones. <laughs> and then see where we go from there. Bracken beacons this morning are shrouded in a bit of a uh, bit of a haze, can't quite see them. But that's where I'd be looking straight out towards those um, if that haze wasn't there. Quite a nice sunrise this morning. Just really quite warm and they give it about 25 degrees by about 8 a.m. So the earlier I get up and get walking. <laughs> the less painful that experience is going to be getting back home. But I do appreciate how lucky I am to live where I can walk quite easily to, to a location like this because it is it's really stunning up here. So first night in my Luxada mesh bug bivy. So it weighs 252 grams. That excludes pegs, it doesn't come with pegs. What it comes with is obviously the little bag it comes in. It's got a siliconized nylon waterproof floor. It's got the tiniest little bathtub, um, but you're not going to want to use it in really wet conditions because the bathtub, it's going to be easy to get water ingress even on slightly long grass like this. It comes with two lengths of tying out points and then it's just a simple zip to get in and out. So really lightweight, you just need four pegs to peg it out and then obviously two, two things to support it off of and it is a really nice little compact sleeping thing. And as I said earlier in the video, it's easy to get in and out, you just slacken the head end um, tensioner which that brings it nicely to the floor so you can just get your legs in, get into it, zip up and then just tension the top. And it is. Pretty, pretty decent little bit of design. These things don't hold under too much tension. So you gotta be careful if you're moving around too much not to sort of pull on it too much because it will start to slacken you'll start to get uh, materials sort of hitting you in the face and stuff. But no, I slept really well in it. I think for the money, it's £32.98 on Amazon. You can get it cheap if you go direct to China, um, but obviously then you've got to wait for slow postage. Whereas with, with Amazon, obviously, if you're a Prime member, you get it next day. If you're not a Prime member, you'll still get it pretty quickly. Um, so £32.98. I had a good look around online. I couldn't find anything better in terms of what I wanted. Um, there are some slightly larger ones, taller ones and stuff, which I might look into in the future. Um, but the ones which were, sort of did look better with a higher bathtub and stuff, they all tended to be American, only available from America. Um, quite a lot of them were sold out, um, but they're all much, much more expensive. So I didn't really fancy spending a huge amount of money and then having to pay all the import um, duty and VAT and stuff. Um, I thought I'd just give a cheap one a go first and see if I liked it before I was gonna invest any more money in that kind of thing. Um, 
but yeah, it absolutely does the job. And I slept really well in it. It's spacious enough for me. Again, I'm 5'11", so you wouldn't want to be much taller on it, although I did have a little bit of extra room at the head. Um, and you wouldn't want to be much bulkier than me because of just the turning around in it and stuff. If you've got really broad shoulders and that, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna find that more uncomfortable. Um, but what I do is I'll, I'll obviously throughout my talk about this stuff, I whack all the um, the specs on screen as well because um, I think it is a is a cool little thing, literally. <laughs> And hopefully I will get a, a method by which I can support it without having to use the tarp because last night it didn't really need a tarp at all. The tarp was just making noise. So um, yeah, I'm really pleased with it. But I've waffled on quite a lot about this now. I'm not gonna make a second video on this at the moment. I might do after a couple of uses. I might do um, just to cover it separately, but no, I'll just keep it as part of the, of the camping video. The tarp's really nice. I do like this tarp. I think it's good value for money, 50 odd quid as well. Because of all the guy lines and stuff, just need to add pegs. Um, no, I've got to get a move on now. It's counts half past six. I've got to really get home and shower and go to work and stuff. So I'm going to really crack on now, take it down, get packed away, and uh, get my contact lenses back in so I can see where I'm going. <laughs> I'll catch up with you in a bit. I tried to pack relatively light last night, um, albeit I took a tripod and two cameras. Um, so I'm just using my Ozone 40 bag and it all fits in absolutely fine. It's actually a really spacious pack. I was worried it might be too small, but um, plenty of space. So I just stuffed in. I haven't got to make any effort to fit it in, it's all gone in absolutely fine. And with the Nordisk tarp, you could definitely pack that down smaller as well if you put it into a little dry bag. But didn't need to, so I haven't bothered. The ozone bag seems to be doing pretty well so far. So four miles last night, I kept on the entire walk, didn't take it off at all even when I was doing all the messing about and filming, so it was wearing for a good two hours. But weighing just over 10 kilos, because I had a good bit of water in it, and obviously the tripod and stuff. The tripod weighs 900 grams, which is pretty light, carbon fiber, but it weighs more than the tarp and uh, leafy bag put together. Obviously, the trekking poles, which I didn't use because I was doing loads of filming. But on a longer walk, I would be using my trekking poles so I wouldn't count them as extra weight for the uh, for the bivvy setup. But obviously, if you weren't going to use trekking poles, then there are probably some lighter weight pole options which you could sort out to support that, uh, that bivvy. So, Here's all the gear. Drink bowl, which I clip onto the bag off a carabiner. Camera bag for the camera that's doing the filming now. And that's pretty much it. So pretty lightweight setup. Obviously people go way, way lighter than this, but I was including the weight of the water in what I was carrying as well. And carried quite a bit of water last night because it was so hot. But yeah, absolutely no trace that I've been here at all. Now I'm gonna get an absolute skedaddle on, get back home, shower and go to work and stuff. So unless there's anything breathtaking, I won't do any more filming now, just, just head straight back. Um, so yeah, if I don't do any more filming, then this will be it for the video.
So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you're still watching, well done. <laughs> it's probably been slightly longer than my other ones, but I wanted to do a bit more um, of a relaxed, talking to camera, kind of scenery type video, because I realized recently I've just been really, really rushing it all the time. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed my first ever camp in a, a bivy and a, a tarp. It's really good. <laughs> yeah, definitely need to consider some different setups if there's a bit of rain forecast, but um, hot summer's night. Yeah, really good thing to do. Right, I've absolutely got to get, get moving now. So massive thanks for watching. Massive thanks to everyone who subscribed recently. Everyone who's been commenting on the videos and stuff and, and, and getting involved in the community posts as well. Really, really appreciate it. It's been absolutely fantastic. As I record this, we are just a whisper, like a handful of subscribers away from 3,000, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so huge thanks to everybody um, who's, who's engaged. That's absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, many more videos to come. So if you're not subscribed, and obviously thousands of viewers who watch videos are not subscribed, um, only takes a second, it's completely free to do so. So do drop a subscribe and uh, I will be sure to catch you in the next one. Thank you very much.